How's it going, everyone? Big D here. Time to review Narcos. The Netflix original series is the latest one. Season 1, episode 3, titled The Men of Always. This is a spoiler review. If you have not seen the episode, we'll go to, go to your Netflix account or, uh, you know, your friend's Netflix account and just watch Narcos, baby. Get into it. Binge it, baby. Uh, update, I've only seen three episodes and the third... The third one I'm reviewing right now is the only I've only seen three so far. So, uh, you know, it, you know, since they're like 46 minutes, and you know, Fear the Walking Dead's on tonight. So, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to brace myself. I'm, I gotta I gotta have my mind clear. Falling Skies is ending tonight. Hannibal ended last night. So give me some time, baby. I promise you, by the end of the week, next week, all Narcos uh, will be out for uh, on my channel, my review. Let's get right to it. It should take me less than three minutes to recap the episode, give you my pros and cons, and final score. Let's get right to it. This cat is DEA. And mark my words, it will get justice. Oh, Javier, you are a badass. Valera is to get Pablo into Congress. So, you know, they having the goodies of sex and everything. He put a pistol in her, uh, in her, in her, in her area. I, I guess that's, I, you know, I think if you do that, most girls will just, you know, whatever, right? I don't think that's really what they want, a gun in their area, but... Uh, Netflix. Yeah, we didn't see that in Daredevil, did we? So, Pablo meets Duple, and he bribed him talking to uh, the people of Congress and everything, and pa Duple goes to meet Rodrigo, talks to get Pablo into Congress. So, Steve and Javier are looking for the cat killer. I want to know who killed the cat. This cat was DEA, mate. We have to find him. So basically, two people from the airport, the ones that were like, is this cat really important to you? And the other one who uh, put the passport uh, in the copier machine, or they're the ones that are being inter like questioned. They can't say, or his wife dies, it's one of those positions. So the guy that he, like, he copied the passport, like he um, faxed it or whatever, he, uh, I forgot what it's called, like copying, and he sent the, the info to poison at the airport, so it... Poison is going to scare some politicians. I thought Poison died in episode one. I don't know who the hell then, because they mentioned Poison in the beginning of episode one in Narcos, and then they show Poison walking, and then he gets shot in a... He gets shot in a... What's it called? Like, I can't tell whether it's jumping forward or if it's not jumping forward. I really can't tell what the hell's going on. So, that's weird. Steve's uh, passport was sent to Poison, like I said. Poison is on the road with a bunch of uh, workers. Pablo said to turn back because this guy named Suarez turned on uh, Steve and uh, he was like an informant and he turns on uh, Pablo, then he turned on Steve and Javier, then he went back to Pablo. So Steve and Javier are waiting, but Pablo, you know, poison never comes. Pablo does a speech and he's basically like, I'm your friend today, yesterday, and tomorrow. Oh, Pablo Escobar. Okay, Tata has a baby, she gets the goods, and it's a baby girl. Pablo, you are dead, congrats. Carlos now runs the labs. Congress is meeting, and of course, Pablo's elected, so he's in the room, and uh, he has a tie and everything. Mugshot. They show the mugshot. Steve and them got it for Rodrigo to show it and basically reveal him that he was a drug dealer that's not actual full evidence, but it's a mugshot showing that he's not such a good person. He's been, you know, arrested before. So, he leaves. Rodrigo is the most wanted man now in Colombia. Rodrigo, you know, Steve had said, wear the vest, but he never did. Pablo uh, resigns, but he says he will not go quietly. Rodrigo is killed, and he didn't wear the vest. Suarez is with a cat at the end with uh, Javier and Steve, and he's like, hey... Your wife want a new cat, and he gets the cat by the, the neck and everything, and he's like, you're fucking crazy, man. All right, what did I think about this episode overall, guys? Season 1, episode 3, the men of always. Let's talk about it. First off, the pros, because I don't have that many pros. Let's get right to it. Okay. The ending of this episode is, it's 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 weird, and it's funny, because he brings the cat out, and he, it's like, meow. So... I don't know what he's really intending. Like, it's just a funny... It's not... I didn't make me laugh, but I could tell it's a funny ending. Some people probably could have laughed. I chuckled a little bit. Like, <laughs> okay, that's pretty weird. You fucking crazy, mate. I really did enjoy the ending, though. I think that was a perfect way to end that episode-wise. Uh, Pablo Escobar, man, the actor who plays him, I think he's doing a really, really, really good job. Uh, this episode himself, Pablo, the way that... You know, he's psychotic. He's crazy. 
and uh, he's trying not to show it, but yet he does show it in front of the people sometimes. Uh, you could tell that when he was looking at Rodrigo, he was like, fuck, you are dead, my friend. I will come and I will kill you personally myself, or I will send Hitman Agent 47 over to you. What's your name? 47. That's not a name. No, but it is mine. Oh, yeah. What's your name? Pablo. Pablo Escobar. The directing of this episode. I found that every episode so far is totally fine of directing. I have no problem with the directing, the camera angles, uh, where stuff is laid out, the way it unfolds. I think that the directing for this episode was fine. It wasn't great, but it's fine for what we got for this 45-minute uh, episode. The action in here. There wasn't a lot of action, but the blood... The blood that we see, like when Rodrigo got shot, that looked really good. It didn't look fake. It looked like he actually got shot. And I was like, shit, he didn't wear the vest. He should have wore the vest. Uh, we see Luis Guzman in here, man. Again, he didn't have a big role in this part again. He's just like a guest star. He does good for what he does. I mean, he's not doing that like... <laughs> he's not doing the jokes. He's actually trying to be a reasonable man. He's trying to be the psychotic uh, Jose Rodriguez that he is. I do love Pablo's speech, the whole, your friend, today, tomorrow, yesterday, all that thing. That whole speech there, he does really do good speeches, and he looks scared to be in front of the crowd, but when he's actually there and he's talking, it's like a voice of an angel trying to get to uh, trying to get to the younger generation there. The real footage that they show, I always enjoy real footage. Kind of pissed off when she had the baby and they look at the camera. It's kind of like he's looking at the f camera on fourth wall breaking, and they never show an actual picture of him and the baby, so kind of pissed off there. The Congress room scene with the tie and everything, and they told him to get out. I think that scene was so well acted out and so well uh, put together. I mean, it didn't steal the whole you know, episode, but I think that that was a well-done scene. Uh, and just the way Pablo looked at Rodrigo, and you knew, like, damn it, that's Rodrigo's end. His, head, his head's going to be gone. I do like how he had a baby girl, but we'll get to the cons in a second about that. But that's cool that he had a baby. I do feel like they're rushing the storyline. Now, I don't know the full storyline of Pablo Escobar, but I do feel like they're just rushing it. I feel like they're trying to put, like, five years of content in one freaking episode. Just ease it up a little bit, man. Because I remember we met Tata. Was she pregnant? I don't think she was pregnant when we first met her. So, like, they're just jumping around. Now, the cons. The Congress whole thing went quick. The storyline for him being in Congress went freaking quick. It should have lasted two or three episodes. But it, it just, they just rushed it out. Oh, I am resigning. And then he's like, I'm giving my spot to Pablo. And then now he resigns literally 10 minutes later. It's like, really? You didn't really, you didn't drag that out? Or you didn't even like stretch it out any? I don't think it's chronologically right sometimes. I feel like, I don't know the story like I said, but I feel chronologically they're kind of messing it up. Uh, Poison's alive. I thought he died in the first episode. Then who did who who died? Because that was poison in the thing when he got shot. At least I think so. Because it was a scene of poison. So what the hell? There's not much narration in here either. Like I need the narration to tell me the story. And they were talking about this guy named Kiki, and he has nothing to do with the story. What we're watching. So what the hell? Um, it doesn't spend the whole like. Pablo doesn't spend time with his baby. You had a baby girl, mate. Spend time with your baby. You don't look like a father. You don't act like a father. Be the father. Pretend, at least pretend like you're a father, man. Steve and Javier look like fools. The cat's DEA. Like, seriously, I'm going to be honest. Ha like, the actors, they're, okay, they're fine. They're not great. Javier is more better since he was in Game of Thrones. So that's why I'm a big fan of Javier guy. But other than that, they look like fools. They look like idiots. They look like they don't know what they're doing. They look like they suck. They're looking for a cat killer. Are you kidding me? Literally, what the hell? Oh, let's look for a cat killer. Oh, mate, I don't think I can see that cat killer. I don't know. I'm paying you a bunch of money just to find the cat killer there. Like, really? Come on, man. You could be better than that. Don't go. They don't go back to Steve's wife. Like, they say the girl from M19 and everything, and that preacher's not a real preacher, or priest, whatever, and they never get back to that. That was, like, the first ten minutes of the episode. You never go back to it. And the Hitler joke where Pablo's laughing, and he laughs, like, for a minute. It's just a waste of time, that scene. Who cares, man? I'm just gonna be honest. Overall, I'm going to give this episode a B-, minus, secondarily a C+. Plus. It has good moments to it. But it's just okay at the end. It's an okay episode. It wasn't great. 
Uh, I still think episode one and episode two are still better. Uh, episode four hopefully will be better than this one. I just think episode three is the down one where it's like, oh, it had good moments, but it just wasn't a good ep Like, it was good, but it wasn't really good. It was just episode one and episode two are still better episodes than episode three combined. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope all of you enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know what did you think about Narcos. And uh, as always, I'll see you for the uh, next one, episode 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, next Netflix original series I'll be doing that will be a binge watch will be sometime in fall with Jessica Jones. Thanks so much, guys. May the Spock be with you, always.